Well, I think unconscious bias is all pervasive. Mm. And I think we have bias about gender, race, colour, socioeconomic status, and probably a whole heap of other things. Mm. And um, I think our unconscious bias developed from our parents' unconscious bias. And if you think about, like, I think it's different for people with different childhoods. I was a, I had a brother, so I constantly had that, your brother needs to have the biggest slice of cake okay. sort of thing. <laughs> um, or if, so there was an ad that was around, must have been in Australia I saw it, and that was what t twigged me to this. The I think it was a domestic violence ad, right. prevention of domestic violence. And a boy pushed a girl over and somebody said, oh, he's just a boy. Yeah. Now, that, for that girl, there would have been a twang yeah. in her wires. Yeah. And that's what I think, all those little things mm. just go deeply. They, they're in your child's brain and they're really deep. Mm. And, re and they get stronger and they just get more layers wound around them mm. and then you get them from different environments and mm. you see things on television you just see things everywhere where there's just that little bit of favoring to a boy over a girl and it's in the slice of cake the next scoop of ice cream the, you, in, when you're lining up in class they're taller than you so you're at the back of the class it's just yeah. All those little things, and each one of those puts another piece of cable or tape around the wire. And then as we grow older, our brain grows, and so those cables are deep in the brain, and they're thick. And it's really hard to undo yeah. them. Yeah. And you have to undo layer by layer. And people who, are, who, people who care about other people it's easier for them but the, the people who are taking who make their decisions based on logic they just don't see it no. and it's much harder for them